Hello and welcome back to Stellaris Nemesis. Now we have a problem and that problem is that there's an asteroid sighted and this asteroid is on its way, it seems, to Peckham Prime. Our deep space tracking areas on Peckham Prime have made an alarming discovery. A large asteroid is heading towards the planet at, on a direct collision course. If we don't do anything, the asteroid must be destroyed. Situation Begins the updated. event for this one here. And basically what we're doing is we're sending our fleet over here to destroy that asteroid. And I just hope that they arrive on time. They need 400 days to get to this system. It is far away from anything, unfortunately. Right, and look at that. Let's just see it. Yes, this is their route now to that system. Can we see how long the asteroid takes? No idea. It's definitely though getting closer now. There it is. And if we speed up the game, we can actually see how it gets closer. Oh my goodness. I think they will not be on time. <laughs> we'll find out. I hope so. Otherwise, we're going to see massive casualties on Pack and Prime. And probably also the reduction of habitability. Meanwhile, when we look at the galactic map once again, there is something very, very exciting happening down here in this dead end that we have. Yes, we have found another continental world. 90% habitability. The gods are good to me today. So there is a bit of a positivity here. Complete. Unfortunately, once again, no generator districts really, no mining districts really. Um, it's all about industrial districts. So... Yeah, they said they would introduce industrial districts with the DLC, but I did not expect so many of them. <laughs> like, basically every planet at the moment is stuffed with industrial districts. Energy-wise, we're still totally fine, though. Construction I'm really worried now, though, about the asteroid, so I hope that my ships arrive there quickly. And we've also finished more construction over here now. Those systems are within our empire and also have their space bases up and running now. I have one more construction ship available right now that is not idle. The other ones are all idle. So what I could do is I could either have a look at my situation log and see if we do need hmm, a construction ship anywhere. We don't, right? So there's basically nothing going on right now. So I do need to expand. Influence-wise, we might or we are able to do that soon. And by the way, this force here, the Emerald Roamers, the prisons we are able to soon destroy them so we are at 900 strength now and they are combined yeah around 1400 so it's not that far away anymore to have our first battle where should we advance though yep i would like to go for this one so let's move over there take the bay uh, take this one there and then we can go to trap where we have that system there that planet now, a surprise catch. Our spy master watching over the Kalasan Republic. You remember, we are spying on them, our direct neighbors. Um, successful acquisition of a new asset. A sympathetic contract contact who will be of service to us. Okay, we have an asset. We have a new spy working for us. And another thing is, by chance, in the for the Yasun Raiders, we have found something, a massive cargo container. And we do get 300 energy and minerals out of that. I don't say no to that. And we have lots of energy. I could use this energy to purchase a few more alloys. Yep. And with that, we're going to reinforce our fleets. Even though we are above the command limit then. I'm still going to do this, right? There's a few more corvettes. And oh my goodness, my ships have arrived in the system for Packham and are on the way now to destroy the asteroid. I hope they can do this. I totally hope they are able to do that. There's Peckham Prime. It's pretty close to the sun, by the way. Must be a very warm planet. And there's the asteroid. Halfway already, or oh, actually more than halfway system crossed the system and is coming in dangerously close now. Hostile fleet engaged. And there we are engaging the, the asteroid. And it looks pretty good. The asteroid is swirling around. And my little corvettes are doing their best. And that's it. Asteroid has been destroyed. A scan of the remaining fragments has also revealed that the asteroid consisted largely of valuable min min mineral minerals. We have collected them. A thousand minerals we get on top of that. Thank you very much. And thank you my little corvettes. You've done a great job at this. At your first little battle. Packham is saved. 
Also, Sirius Prime has grown to 10 populations. We can now finally also upgrade here the ship shelter to the, um, well, planetary center, the planetary administration. This one is very good. It gives me then more amenities and housing. And what I can also see is that we don't have any available jobs on this be natural beauty on this planet here. And we do have, though, lots of industrial districts. So I'm inclined to go with one of them. Um, we might also be looking at one of the food ones, since food is at the moment rather equal. And then we still have one available one of these, and it's probably going to be the research center. We might also, since amenities is low, have a theater here. Right, this one might be a good idea too. Robot assemblies, we have three. I think that is quite enough for now. We are producing a lot of them. Oh, and I see in Sooth Prime, another thing. We are full on the generator districts. With that, we can unlock more of them. A thousand we need to invest though. Oh, and something big has happened. We have finished another archaeological site and a resolution has been also passed. Regular facilitation. And let's have a look at this one here. It's about the strange crystals that we have on this planet here. Transmission. And it was much easier to establish contact with the crystal this time around using protocols we established with the previous one. Again, its records are fragmented. If one can enter the shroud, it is possible to exit it at any known location. This ability to psionically jump between physical locations allows the Stroni to spread to all corners of the galaxy. And we find three more minor artifacts. But that's it. Okay, I thought it was finished because it was such a big thing here happening. Another level up for the scientists um, and establish the embassy with those guys here. Another militarist. We got lots of militarist um, empires in this game. So there's going to be lots of big wars later on. And of course, we want to establish an embassy with them to improve our relation a bit, right? Because we want to pick the wars. We certainly don't want to be navigated into a defensive war. Um, and that's why diplomacy is pretty important right now. There's also in Sooth Prime still some special research is going on. What are we researching right now for the physicists, uh, for the physics hyperdrive? We can interrupt that shortly to uh, have one of these dimensional portal on Sooth Prime. Usually they give something nice. We could also, yeah, let's do this, the crystalline study. Let's do this first. We have this for quite some time now. And the space amobi and the drone study. Let's also do the drone study for our um, engineering. So we interrupt right now the Corvette hull points. That's fine though for the drones. Because we have these drones here and down here. And I think somewhere else also. Mining drones, right? And these studies usually give you a bonus over them when you fight them. And yeah, this site is also fully excavated now in the ruined world, if you remember this ruins here. So the Omni Codex has been unearthed. This unique device contains the genetic sequence of every race that the Omni were able to sample and can recreate them using only basic elements as raw materials. Unfortunately, it seems the Omni did not have time to perfect it before meeting their annihil annihilation. So there is annihilation. So there is no means of selecting which of the many sampled races would be created in any given activation of the device. We get 10 minor artifacts out of it and also a relic, the Omni Codex. Let's have a look at the Omni Codex. And there it is. We can activate it with 150 influence and this gives me a gene modification point. Also, spawn pops from an extinct species on one of your planets. I don't like that so much. I'm going to leave it for now. I don't want to have random pops coming up. Oh, casually my fleet is passing by. And we've also found some strategic resources over here. So some crystals, rare crystals on this planet that we can exploit later. We're going to need them. So that's the end, right? This is the last system that we have. Boring, has a few gas trines, but that's it. Um, here. What is interesting though is this planet. We are close. Yes, let's build the outpost and then we can already colonize the sixth planet that we have. And all of them have a pretty high habitability and all of them will be of great use to us. So it's this one. Trop, it's called. <laughs> I live in Trop. Lots of industrial districts once again. 
Another thing in Earth on, or on Earth, we can unlock two more um, generator districts and we could also unlock three more agricultural districts. Oh, there's also a new species, the Moot again. A merchant guild, hello. And that's it for now, though we can of course definitely unlock more stuff later since we haven't researched everything yet for the tiles that we can unlock. Ah, very good, and the system is now under our control. The problem is though, what we have discovered as well is that this planet has an anomaly. So we do need to, first of all, remove the anomaly before we can do something here. So let's send my science ship over there right away to research that anomaly. Science ships, we still need a lot. There we have another one. So this one can, yep, do that anomaly then researching it. Or wait a second, nope, let's go in here. There we have lots of anomalies that we can study. And the science ship here will study this one and then goes to that one. And gigantic skeleton. What is happening on this planet there? What was previously thought to be assorted mountains in the southern hemisphere of this planet have been identified as massive skeletal remains. The bones have been dated as 3.4 billion years old. And this Situation opens up a new updated. special project for us where we do need a scientist for that. Oh no, the raiders are asking for a new tribute once again and it's more expensive it's twice as expensive as before and yes let's go for minerals this time i don't like this one bit if it's a thousand next time we can still pay it two thousand we could pay three thousand it's getting rough no idea how we can keep them at bay there for too long yeah, well, building more fleets. That is the only solution I have. We have a bit of energy. I could purchase a few more alloys. And with that, increase the increase our fleet. Basically, I think we are at the limit then. 30, there it is. And that's a bit more, a few more Corvettes that we can now have in our fleet as well. And that's probably pushing us to 1.6 then with the fleet strength. And this would make it possible actually to attack something. Also, our research about the crystalline entities um, has been researched to so remember that those guys here that are roaming around the prisons and the crystalline um, entities, the mineral extraction ancient mining drones, and about them the entities do not seem to mate and we have yet to observe any crystals that are recognizably older or younger than others. Contrary to an earlier hypothesis, the shifts in hue between individual crystalline entities seem to be related not to their age, but to their latent internal charge. Um, sounds potentially useful about the charge thing. So 5% more energy credits from our tech jobs. And since I'm focusing mostly on that right now, um, that's pretty useful for us, I think. So we are at 90 and we should be going towards something else. And another, yeah, 89, very good, 98. And we have also found another special project. And what terra firma, firma? fascinating creatures roam where? Ah, we have finished this one here. So there are fascinating creatures on it. Science officer Yu stresses that finding alien life in this state is a rare opportunity and we should pay special attention, maybe even uplift them to become our subjects. So there is someone living on this planet already. I don't care about this. We are still going for it. I just need, um, let's just see, alloys and a few of these, yep, consumer goods. And then we settle on Trap Prime. That's the next one. I can't activate that relic at the moment. Um, what, what is happening right now though is that we're pretty or getting pretty close there to my limits for consumer goods, alloys and food is definitely below the limit now. So uh, in series we already built an industrial district and an agricultural district, right? Because place is getting rare here and this should boost it again. And in Alpha Centauri, I might also build an agricultural district. We have robots here, and they can work on that. Let's do this. I still have a couple of re uh, districts left. At least one city district I probably will need to build. The same goes with Earth. Look at that, we have now unlocked another one on Earth. That is fine, I could go with energy. Or we go with a city district. And since I want to unlock a building slot, let's go with the city district on Earth. Construction complete. Usually I would never have built a city district before or very late in the game. And this time we do it much sooner. In Sooth Prime, oh, our energy beauty. Let's build another di uh, generator district. And then we have Packham. 
also some energy right now. I would like to go actually with pack them with one agricultural for now, right? So that's the robo assembly plant that we have there and they can work on that. We do really need a bit of food. Sonified science. The Archimedes crew has um, succeeded in isolating a signal. Oh, whoa, that is a pretty cool system there. The binary stars there. And... The signal is a song, a complex sonification of an advanced mathematical equation to be precise, and one that science officer Mercedes cannot seem to get out of their head. Uh, we do get 700 research points and 1000 research points for two of our researchers there. Looking cool. Where is that? Oh, over here we are. We haven't really done anything here yet. Right, we're still examining this system there. And the magnetic field of Redamon. That's on here. Experience a complete reversal while it was being observed by the UNS. This rare event has interchanged the position of the planet's magnetic poles. Fortunately, it was all recorded and we do get some research points out of it. I love research. Interesting. Interesting as whatnot and this boosts our science, of course. Now, we have also finished the project for the mining drone, that was the research, and the drones are remarkably efficient at squeezing ever-diminishing returns from rocks. And of less importance is the fact that the drones are not completely silent, and we can have now two things about the drones. Either we take the Easy Prey modifier, and we do cause 33% more damage to these drones. Um, that's not so bad. On the other hand, we could also get a permanent modifier to mining station minerals output, which is even better, I think, right? Because the power to destroy them we have soon, and then it's basically over, right? But this one is a permanent bonus to our ten, uh, to our mining stations. I'd rather go with that. Now, another very good tradition. And since I do need more ships, I would like to go with the Fleet Logistics Corps. Uh, this one is increasing our uh, naval capacity. We are already above it and that's causing a plus 45% increase in our uh, maintenance. And this is reducing this plus op also on top of that ship upkeep is reduced by another 10%. That's pretty useful for me now. And we have the event here now for the... We actually have an event here from one of our special projects. We could either get now monthly unity for 60 months or we do get 300 unity plus right away. And I think we go with that to, to quicken this one up. A bit of happiness, we don't need that. Very good, engineering has finished and we have more hull points now for our fleet. That means more um, power then as well. And one more thing is that is now very important, the destroyers. Fleet command limit is increased and we can lock a new ship type, the destroyers that we can then finally build. Doesn't really take that long to research as well. And also over here, a new system under our control. Let's just build the mining and the research stations in this system. Another very interesting ring system, ring star, that we can then perhaps later do something with it. Oh, and the Kalasan. Yeah, we have returned uh, one of the cargo pods to them and we do get 100 influence out of that. Plus their opinion of us changes dramatically. And uh, th that means we have 200 influence now. I could use this, of course, to expand further, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to have another edict and it's the capacity subsidies. It's a permanent edict that I can activate and this should give us a nice plus on the energy, right? So we have 72 now, month and comes now and we are boosting to 124. <laughs> Holy moly, we have more, almost doubled our energy output. This is beautiful and this is a permanent edict so we can keep it active as long as we want. So that's totally worth it. Holy moly, lots and lots of energy flooding into our storages. Another survey here. Plus, we have also opened up a new uh, special project. Oh, we are actually doing this right now. That's good. And then we have that one here. Where is that? That's far outside. This science ship should be doing something about it. Let's get over there and research it. Situation log. What else do we have? We do have some smaller researches here that we could do. Space Amoeba study. Research and the complete. probe. And we have finished the hyperdrive. Hyperdrive, hyperdrive, hyperdrive. Um, either we go for increased research or we go with the barrier point defense. I would like to go with increased research. Speeding up research over time is the most important thing that we need in this game. 
They're still going something on here. What is that? That is a research now. Mm, let's finish this because it only takes 8 months. This one takes 16 months. So I would rather wait on that. And very good. Thanks to the finishing of a couple of districts. We are totally in the plus again. The same goes with the alloys. Of course, we should really start pushing alloys now at some point to get our ships up. So once we have unlocked the destroyers, I will uh, generate a whole second fleet that we can then reinforce with more power. Until then, I just wait for a few more pops to grow and then we can continue with perhaps some research centers. Who knows about that? I hope you enjoyed this one. Stay tuned. Special project complete.